Well, the day's starting off wrong. <laughs> I ordered tires and went preliminarily paid for them online yesterday evening. And I kept looking at my email to see if anybody had changed anything, but nobody has changed anything. Well, I got here on my appointment time this morning and everything's locked up. I mean, they're working, but the guy comes out and he asked if he can help me. And I told him, I showed him the paper that I have the tires ordered, blah, blah, blah. He said he'd look it up and they don't have them at this store. They have them at another one, but the appointment was for here. See if you can go down there. So I just called the guy down there and he said they don't even have anything until walk in on Monday morning at 8 o'clock. He says if you come in at 8 o'clock, the sooner in, the sooner out. And they're the only ones that have this tire that I am purchasing. So <laughs> I cut out this template so that I can uh, use a permanent marker on the back. All the other options that I wanted to do for the back of this, like iron-on letters and stuff like that, I can't do due to circumstances. So, there we go. I gave him some on his own plate, but it's only good if it's off Mama's plate. Leftover pizza pieces. Well, while he's eating my pizza, I'm eating some green beans. Mmm. So what did I do today? I went over to Firestone and was told that they didn't have the tires and I should have called them first and they were full and they had 15 cars waiting and there you go. Did you leave me anything? That's what he left me. That's duck. That just crust. Anyway, he said he checked and he said St. Anne, which is another six miles further away, they have them. They have them there. So I said, okay. He goes, just tell them that you already had an appointment and everything and they should be able to take you in. They have the tires. So I said, okay. So before I went anywhere, because I had plenty of things to do, I called down there at St. Anne. The guy said, oh, yeah, we got the tires, but we don't have any appointments. Excuse me, I just had some soda. And, uh, because we don't do appointments now, we, it's first come, first serve. I said, well, what time do you open? Eight o'clock, but it won't be until Monday. And you probably will, will have to leave the car. And I thought, uh-uh. Now, if I get down there Monday morning and they have some BS story that, oh, we sold them out, or you're going to have to leave the car, I can't do it. And they're going to hear from me <laughs> on Yelp or whatever it is, you know? Not cool. Don't, don't mess with your customers like that. Be honest. Honesty is always the best policy. You know, it's not... <sighs> It's not showing weakness. That seems to be a big issue with companies and people is, oh my God, if I show any bit of weakness, I'm going to be devoured. What happened to good business tactics and things like that? I don't understand. Anyway, I'm, I'm blithering on like I always do. Good thing you don't live here, right? Because my mouth would just, you just have to learn to tune it out. As soon as, you know, as soon as you hear my mouth stop, I'm either dead or sleeping, right? <laughs> oh, God. Um, hmm. I power washed off the back porch and I power washed off the gas mower so it'll dry up for tomorrow because I'm thinking of looking at it, trying to get it to run, maybe changing the oil on it. I'm not really sure how I'm going to do any of that. You can come along for the ride and watch me blow up. I hope not. <laughs> he blowed up. He blowed up real good, right, Billy Ray? Right. That's from. Uh... SCTV. Billy saw Hair Rock sitting there, and see Joe Flaherty and John Candy, and they're sitting there and. Uh, 
overalls and they're like acting like real farmers. Go, so, yeehaw, he blowed up. Yeah, he blowed up real good. <laughs> oh. oh, yes. I'll show you the squidge shirt. It doesn't look professional or anything, but it was made with love and leftover fabric. This is the front because he'll be one years old. And this is the back where it says squidge. Like the ball players have their name on the back of their shirts. Green bean. Oop, I caught it with my hand. That's something you can try when you're bored. See if you can catch it with your tongue and eat it. Oop. It's going to take some practice. Until then, let's go upward and onward. Stay safe. Stay put. Love ya.